So this achievement here was a missable one in the first half of version 2.0 as you only had one chance to get it during the story. With the new Memory of Chaos however, we do have another shot at it, although it may still be very difficult for many of you guys who struggle with the Memory of Chaos as you will need to go against Sam on the second half of the 11th floor of MOC. So unfortunately, if you can't clear up to MOC floor 11 or are struggling to beat the first half of floor 11, this video isn't going to cover that. You're just going to need to work on your team compositions and relics. However, if you're able to get to the Sam encounter, I can help here. So this is still going to be pretty challenging. The goal here is to interrupt Sam after he enters his combustion state, which is signified by him casting his flaming field. And we need to do this before he's able to take his next turn, thus preventing him from casting supernova. So we can interrupt him by either elemental breaking him before his turn, or by removing five stacks of his molten energy, which can be stripped away each time you spend one skill point when damaging him. So to keep things simple, I'll have four chapters down below that you can skip to. The first one is going to be the break method. So there's a whole bunch of characters that will work here and the best being Ran Mei and Dan Heng. And characters like Silver Wolf is also going to be very strong for applying weaknesses. Jing Liu who can take three turns in a row or Fu Shuan or Lao Cha who are sustain units that have offensive type weakness ultimates. Next up, I'll have a showcase for what I call the Dan Heng stack method, which relies on Dan Heng's ability to strip away three stacks in a single turn, allowing you to simply bring two additional characters who can then strip away the other two stacks. Then I'll have the Japard stack method. So this is for people who aren't lucky enough to have Dan Heng, Ron Mei or Jing Liu. This method is going to be pretty much a free to play build other than the fact that you do need Japard. And then finally, I've got a 100% free to play team. No limited light cones, no limited characters. Everyone should have every single character here free from events and giveaways if you've been playing for long enough. So click on the chapter that relates to you or feel free to watch through the entire thing and choose what you feel works best for your character loadout. Okay, so let's start off with the break method. So this one's going to be the most straightforward one, but it's also pretty character reliant. So I'm not going to go through every possible team here since there's a bunch that could work, but there are going to be some clear standouts. Ron May improving break efficiency is going to be a huge player since we want to break as fast as possible. Silver Wolf is also going to be really valuable too. She's able to apply new weakness types to Sam, which will enable not only Ron May to break, but also enables characters like Jing Liu. So Jing Liu with Silver Wolf is amazing for this since you can store one charge before Sam goes into combustion mode and then once he does go into combustion mode you can then unload a skill into an ultimate and then into a second skill. Dan Heng is another really good one. He's able to deal multiple imaginary weakness hits onto Sam who has an innate imaginary weakness. And then we also have Lao Cha and Fu Shuan who both have ultimates that deal damage both of which are innate weaknesses to Sam too. So that's imaginary and quantum. So they're going to be the best two sustains that can help add to the break bar without the help of Silver Wolf. So in this clip here, I use Jing Liu, Silver Wolf, Ron Mei and Fu Shuan. So that's a very non-F2P friendly team. But as you can see, it effortlessly strips Sam's break meter before he can take his own turn, which nets me the achievement. Okay, so let's go through Dan Hung's stack method. So this one's really simple. You just need to use 5 skill points worth of attacks before Sam takes his turn. So Dan Hang's level 3 enhanced attack will remove 3 stacks from Sam's Molten Energy, which leaves us with just 2 stacks that can be removed by any other character with a damaging skill such as Asta, Pella or Hanya. So there is however one important thing to note. Most Dan Hang's are run with attack boots since it's usually in your best interest to go after your supports. However, in this Sam fight, Sam does gain a big speed boost when he enters the combustion state, which does mean that if your Dan Hang is too slow, Sam will overlap your Dan Hang and will appear above him after going into the combustion state. So I do recommend that you slap on a pair of speed boots on your Dan Hang. Otherwise, you can run with an Asta or Hanya or characters with the hacker space set to ensure that Dan Hang takes his turn before Sam is able to supernova. Okay, now for the Japard stack method. Now, the reason why Japard is a standout character for this achievement is because that everybody has a Sushang who can use a skill into an ultimate into a second skill to remove two stacks. And every one of you should also have at least two characters with damaging skills, whether it's Serval, Pella, Herda, so on and so forth. So that's two more stacks removed. So that's four stacks in total, but now we've got our final slot which needs to be a sustain unit and you're stuck with Natasha, 
Bailu, Lynx, March, Fire MC, Fushuan, or Hua Hua, all of which do not have a damaging skill, so they're unable to remove that last stack. Enter Jepard, the only sustained unit in the game with an offensive skill. So, if you don't have all those other fancy characters but you do have a Jepard, then you can do this method. That's two stacks with Sushang, two stacks with any two characters with damaging skills, and then one stack with Jepard to make five stacks in total. But similar to the last method, you will need over 119 speed on all of your characters, otherwise Sam will overlap you when he gets into the combustion state. In this run, I do bring along an Asta to speed up my team in order to have them go before Sam, allowing me to get all five skewers off. Okay, so lastly we have our fully free-to-play team. So this team is going to consist of Sushang, Asta, and any other character with a damaging skill. The caveat here is that while we don't need any limited 5 stars, we do require a 4 piece equal of Twilight Wind set in order for our third character to take 2 turns before Sam makes his. So with this team we're going to use Sushang who can take 2 stacks off Sam thanks to her skill into an ultimate into a second skill. Then we're going to need to run an Asta for both her damaging skill and also her ultimate which will give our entire team 40 to 50 speed and even more if you run the 4 piece hacker space set. Then we've got our third slot which will be responsible for taking care of the other two stacks. In this video I use Pella but you can use Servo instead since everyone does get her for free or even Herder which you get from the simulated universe. The only thing that's important here is that they must be running the 4 piece twilight set since this set gives us 25% action forward after we use an ultimate. So this means that with Asta's speed bonus and the 25% action forward, after we use skill followed by an ultimate, we should get just enough speed to move ourselves back in front of Sam again in order to strip that 5th and final stack. So your last slot can be any sustained character. Here I choose to run with March just to show that we're able to do this with a pretty sub-optimal team. Theoretically you can also use March to freeze Sam in order to get another hit in, but in order to land a freeze consistently, you're going to need well over 100% hit rate on March which is far harder to achieve compared to simply putting on a 4 piece Twilight of the Eagle set for your DPS. So here in this clip you'll see that I immediately cast Asta's ultimate as soon as Sam goes into his combustion mode. I then use her skill to remove one stack, followed by a Sushang combo of a skill into ultimate into a second skill. That makes for a total of three stacks, leaving him on two. I then use skill on Pella, which takes him down to one stack, but as you can see, we're now sitting under Sam. But thanks to the Eagle set, using Pella's ultimate shifts her up 25% and brings her back in front. So now she's ready to land another skill in order to take off that final stack. And so that's four methods of getting this achievement. Hopefully you found this useful. All of the strategies here do require a little bit of speed tuning, so you will need to make sure that you're sitting between 119 speed and 157 speed. Going too fast is also detrimental as you land two turns before Sam even gets into his combustion state, which is really not what you want. And then anything lower than 119 is going to cause Sam to overlap you once he goes into combustion mode. So I'll have a character showcase at the end here to show off all the characters that I do use for this. And the free to play team is pretty badly invested and is using gear that is borrowed from other characters. So you definitely don't need too much investment in order to pull this off. 